What's up you guys, Yosefer here. I wanna make a video update about the call credit spread strategy that I've been deploying. I am now four and O on this, and it looks like I'm probably gonna be five and O by this Friday. I have a, another trade that's still open that is highly in the profit now. I could close it for the profit, but I feel like I'm just gonna let it run and collect the full premium um, because we're quite a bit off the mark where, where it needs to be anyway. So uh, I think by this Friday, there's a high chance that we will be out of the money on these uh, calls we sold, this, these credit spreads we sold, and so we will collect the full premium. So let's go and jump into it. Uh, I don't wanna make the video too long, but I wanna just spend a quick few minutes talking about the strategy I've been deploying, what my current record is, what kind of ROI I've been getting, and if you guys are interested in following me on this, I'm going to be doing more trade updates on trades I take uh, because I do want to keep this streak going as a way to make consistent income. So let's jump into the chart and all the information. Okay, guys, so we're looking at the Google chart. I did open two positions on Friday. One was Google. The other one was Costco. Google was the smaller of the two. Um, I got $150 of credit for 10 credit spreads. Um, and yeah let's look at the stats real quick i ju just closed the position today i should have let it run because i probably would have collected the whole premium but i had a buy to close uh order set up bid and it got hit so anyways taking a look um this is the trade here i opened it last friday on the 14th it was a winner closed it today google 10 credit spreads for 15 dollars credit each contract i bought them back for four dollars each I bought them back for $4 each, okay? And so I closed them for a total of $11 credit that I kept per contract. Required $4,850 uh, $4, cash required and 3.1% uh, 3, 3 ROI in five days. So not, uh, total profit was actually 110. Um, so not the you know most profitable trade, just you know, 3.1% ROI in five days, not a whole lot. I've done trades higher than that, like this 20.5%, but still a winner nonetheless. You know, that month, that cash was just going to sit there anyway. So I put it to work and it, it netted me some money. And so I'm currently 4-0 now. We'll update the stats here. And we can take a look at the current stats. My first trade was on April 13th of last year. Uh, total completed trades, four now. 4 and 0 record and let me add 110 to this so that'll bring this to 1153 total profit realized zero total realized losses average roi i got to update that as well okay first trade was 9.59 second was 20.5 third was 16.8 okay and then lastly 3.1 now divided by four trades so 12.49, so my profit per trade went down quite a bit because this trade I only got 3.1%. So 12.49% average profit from all the, you know, of all the trades I've done. And then finally, this was five days, so let's update the days. And by the way here, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the total percentage there. Uh, Divided by, divided by four. Just to let, let, you know, just to know where I left off so I don't have to add them all up every time. Okay, so this next one, we're going to do four point, no, we're going to do uh, the days, two days plus five days plus seven plus five. I'm going off on a tangent already. I didn't want to do that, but I did. Okay, 4.75. So the actual time went up a little bit as well. And we're going to do uh, total nineteen divided by four. Okay. That way I know next time all I got to do is add the next one, 19, right, was where I left off. So add that equation. Anyways, so with that having been said, I am now 4-0 and, oh, and the, the strategy has been working for me. I saw, sold the call credit spreads on Google. We'll take a look at the options trade. This is a position I had. 
basically Google call yeah. credit spreads Buenos Dias. Um, and yeah, it was the 24.15 and 2420s. And so uh, basically just a simple trade. The mark, you can see that I sold the 2415s and bought the 2420s. So I needed Google stock to just be below 2415. And we are at 2292. So you can see the stock could have ran up quite a bit. I opened it here because remember the last video I put out, I, I mentioned it wasn't quite set up yet, but if we got like two or three good green days, it would be set up. And that's exactly what happened. You can you can literally watch the last video and the first stock I look at is Google and how it was literally right here when I made the video. It ran up two or three days and that's when I, I, I said, hey, that's what exactly I would, uh, what I was looking for for the setup. So I took the position and the stock could still run up from there. But you can see we've pulled back. So um, I had a, a bid that hit and it closed my position buying back the contracts for $4 where, where I initially collected 15 So I gave back $4 of the profit, but I kept 11 So I still made money on it. Um, I, at this point, I wish I would have just let it run because it, it's far off the mark right now, like it would have been excellent, but whatever. Um, the Costco one though, I did have a bid and I closed that. I, I canceled that bid. I'm, I've am i decided I'm gonna let it run to expiration. You can see here, this is my limit order. Buy verticals, you can see. Buy 50 verticals. Uh, spread would be 397.50 slash 400 at two. So actually I'm gonna close that out. Why am I buying at two? And giving back that's 50 times two that's a hundred dollars i'm not giving a hundred dollars back i'm gonna let this run to expiration because we're quite off the mark right now the mark i have set is above this all-time high you can see 397.50 is the level that i selected as the level that i need the price action to be at by the expiration date in order for me to make them keep them at all the premium i collected which would be the maximum on the trade um so if we take a look at that the stock can run up that much all the way to that red line by this Friday and I'll still keep all the premium So that's why I'm gonna let it run right now. Here's where we were when I took the position uh, This was the 14th. You can see the dates here up here the 14th was when I took the position okay, and um, I'm gonna jump into the screen and show you my trade so you can actually see see what I'm talking about just a second Okay, if we take a quick look uh, these are the Costco uh, call credit spreads here. I sold I sold these for a credit. You can see credit of 11, credit of 10, credit of 10, 10, and then some more up here, credit of 15, a little bit more credit of 15. So total I sold 50. Uh, most of them I got 10 or 11, and then I got 15 on, on another 10. So um, yeah, those are the ones I, I sold, and then I did close. I, I haven't closed them yet, actually. Um, I had a bid, but I canceled it. I'm going to let them run to expiration because I feel like I will be able to keep the maximum premium. And so, since I sold quite a bit, 50 of them, I don't want to buy them back even for two dollars if I don't have to, because that's 50 times two is a hundred bucks. I'd rather keep that. Um, so yeah, very very interesting and nice trade. I like this. I could potentially be five and zero oh now. And that's great, right? Keep that streak going. Keep this consistent uh, income going. That's what I'm looking to do. So if you guys are looking to follow me on this, um, hit that subscribe button. I'll be putting up some more videos about this as I can. So I'm going to try to do mornings. I'm committing to that, even though I'm just super exhausted and super busy. Uh, I'm going to try to just, you know, get up an extra, like, half hour to an hour earlier just to put out a video, just, you know, because I, I want to be consistent on this. And I want to help anyone I, I can if if this is a winning strategy long term for me I want to help others learn about it, too And maybe I'll do like a discord group where we actually in real time look at you know get entering trades together and things like that because I know it's sometimes hard to follow someone and You know mimic their trades when the videos are spotty or it's like the day after this and that so maybe I'll do it uh, You know like a private discord uh, or we can you know, you know get into trades together if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. You know, I, I've thought about it, but I don't feel like enough people would join. So let me know if you are interested so I can see if it's worth it to get that going. All right, so that's that trade. Let's come back to my main screen and uh, just kind of wrap up the video. Okay, so coming back to everything here. Um, 
Now, just just uh, want to put it out there that the Costco trade, uh, while I am averaging, while I am getting eleven dollars and twenty cents average credit, because remember I sold some at ten, some at eleven, some at fifteen. I added them all up and divided it by the common denominator, and it gave me eleven dollars and twenty cents credit per contract. Fifty contracts. So if we do the math, there, fifty times eleven point two. That is $560 total profit. Now, I didn't put it in here yet because I haven't closed the trade yet. So that could change. But it did require $11,940 uh, in order to execute the trade. So, you know, $560 total profit divided by $11,940. You can see that's still only a 4.6% or 4.69. So I put 4.7% ROI. So again, not a big winner, but nonetheless, a consistent you know, winner. If you can get, you know, and I'm doing these once a week. So if you can get five to ten percent a week, you're at anywhere but but of you know between twenty and forty percent a month. Uh, uh, you know, if you do four, if you do one trade every week, right, and you're getting an average. Let's say you're getting seven point five percent average, because right now my average is twelve point four nine. So that's higher than what I'm proposing. Let's say you only get a 7.5% average. If you do that once a week, that's times four. That's 30% per month you can you can make. You know, 30 times 12 months, that's 360% a year. That's pretty good profit. So that's why I'm looking to really learn this and keep it going. As you can see, I have been uh, like increasing my position size, right? Increasing the amount of cash I use per trade. And taking a little less ROI, that's I'm okay with that because my odds of success are way higher, and that's why Google's already been a winner. You know that that took quite a bit of cash uh, for a you know a low ROI, but it was a very very high chance of success, extremely high, like ninety over ninety five percent chance of success, right? So I'm I'm okay with that, and same with the Costco trade. I, you know, if I look at the options chain right now, by the way. You can see my position down here, by the way, on Costco. Uh, you know, verticals, right? Sold 50 of the 39.750s, bought 50 of the 400s. So therefore, I'm a vertical spread. And currently, the P&L is at... Uh, P&L is at 8.53 right now. So, since open. So pretty pretty darn cool there. Um, I wonder how it's at 8.53. That's not possible. I don't know. I, I thought I collected only 560. I don't know how it's showing 853. I'm going to have to check, come back on, come back to that. I'm really going to have to come back to that. I, I have no idea. Unless, yeah, because look, traded price 4914 minus 3674. Oh, shoot. Uh, $49.14 is effectively what I sold them for, right? You move the decimal place because it's times 100. Minus $36.74. So I actually kept a $12.40. Not eleven twenty. My math was off. Times 50. So six twenty. So I actually got, I'm getting a more, more money on that. Sorry, 620. I'll update that when need be. But um, basically the way it is, is you take the, the price you sold the calls for, the price you bought the other calls for, that's your spread. That difference is the money you keep. And so the trade's going really well. I can probably close it right now if I want to. Let me see. I'm just going to let it expire, actually, because it's such a high probability of, of me keeping everything. So I'm going to do that. But anyways, just to sum up the video, I don't want to make it too long. Um, I took the trade back here. It's pulled back. My timing was good. Remember, I talked about in the last video, your timing doesn't have to be perfect, but it definitely helps to have decent timing and make a pre make an active effort into you at least getting somewhat, you know, decent timing. And so that's what I did. And you can see it's paid off quite nicely, guys. So that's the end of the video. Uh, if you are interested in this, let me know. I'll try to do more video content and maybe uh, do some like 
Discord or Zoom kind of live live things or maybe YouTube live feed, something like that where we can engage in real time on the next trade. Till next time, stay safe. Take care.